All right. Greetings. Greetings. We just checked in to the Hilton Garden Inn in Hershey, Pennsylvania, right? It was a six minute drive to Chocolate World. Yeah, and about okay. six minutes to Hershey Park. Chocolate and Hershey Park right so next to each other. Not far. Very close. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking really helps our channel grow. And subscribing, we'll let you know next time we have videos. Yeah, we're gonna do a little tour of the facility, show you the amenities here. Um, it was a good price too, right? Yeah, it was like 110. 110 with taxes right now. And it's probably a special COVID price. Is everything going There's on? There's only one other car in the parking lot. Yeah. So. And we're staying here for Christmas Candy Lane. They have some really cool Christmas decorations you want to show you guys. So, yeah. Take a tour with us here at Hilton, Hilton Garden Inn. So, as Ooh. you can see by the sign right here, it's going to open up. But Hilton has these clean stay measures. So, face masks are required. And they have social distancing markers. And right here, you can see the chandelier in the main lobby. Over to the right, they have this festive Christmas decorations. I don't know what you would call that, but it looks like berries, Sam? I guess so, <laughs> that are like silver. This is where you would eat dinner. They also have a hot dinner option at night. Uh, oh, and they have, look, they have lights the decorating where they would serve the dinner to you. So dinner is from 5 to 10, no hot breakfast. They do have some other uh, options you can pick up here, like some beers and some quick options. Oh, look, Hershey's chocolate bars. Ice cream, hot pockets. Oh, yes. Breakfast Free for eggs. gold and diamond Hilton members. Oh, nice. Not us. Not us, we're not members but yeah i mean some decent options and a hot dinner sounds interesting here are the prices of the pantry in case you guys are interested social distancing markers here in the front of the lobby to prevent crowding this is a little hangout area with two nice christmas trees a fire going this is very relaxing they have the remote right next to you so you can sit and watch some tv right here in the open lobby warm up next to the fire it is very cold outside and there's some presents under the christmas tree i wonder who's living here right as you walk in on the first floor they have some hot water uh, it's coffee oh it's coffee it's hot coffee regular which think is regular water. <laughs> but i will say the true by hilton and hershey had a full little coffee bar with tea you know yes sorted flavors true by hilton was great i mean this is a this great is value nice. yeah no I, I think for what location you're paying for what you get is, with the location yeah it is nice there, there's no shuttle service or anything to hershey though so you do lose that but you're so close that i think it almost makes up for it and as far as like pricing goes you know all right so let's take you on a little room tour Room 122. One, two, two. Floor. Yes. All right, room 122. They have the sanitizer seal. We broke it because we had to go inside. So let's open the door. And here we are. Ta-da. All right, so right as you walk to the left. Oh, you could see me right in the reflection. A mirrored microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen such a thing. Opens up. Normal microwave. Oh, I have a baked potato option. Ooh. We just had a baked potato. A Keurig. Uh, yes, a Keurig. Then with some quick coffee. Uh, we brought our own water, so these are not included with your stay. Oh, that was up. Yeah, this opens up into something. I don't know what. Oh, yeah. And look, there's our energy. Uh, that's your fridge. What's in here? A little storage. A little storage area in case you want to grab a little something to eat. Maybe take something home from the dinner that they got going on here. Oh, and look to the right as well. Yeah, one of these big mirrors. Hello, bicep pose. <laughs> Jaya's shaking her head at me. The bathroom is also to your right. So, you know, toilet, that's pretty standard. Looks clean, smells clean. Uh, your towels are up here at the top. You know, standard shower head, nothing really that special. The room is slightly dated, but, you know, our works nice. Like we said, uh, it's a pretty good price. At least there's counter space. Yeah, no. Unlike. Lots of counter space. <laughs> they, you get these uh, body lotion, Neutrogena. the conditioner, yeah, Neutrogena. 
I believe this is the same uh, Neutrogena that came with when I stood at the, uh, what's the one near American Dream Mall? I forget the name of that hotel. But uh, yeah, they have the same. But we've also, we've stayed at the Hilton Garden in, in New Jersey. That's near Six Legs. Yes. That one's very nice. Isn't That one's a bit nicer than here, but I also think it's priced out a bit higher. You know, so it's a nice modern bathroom, big mirror. Uh, no makeup mirror is what I'm noticing in here, actually. That's something that I notice now that I do hotel tours. And what's in here? Oh, they got your hair dryer right here, too. So there is a hair, try hair dryer that's included. All right, let's see what else they got. All right, so as you walk into the right, big king size bed. So we're staying in a single king room, oh, which gives you a lot of room. USBs yeah, and, and alarm clock. Uh, yes, USBs in the alarm clock. So that's one of the things when I was saying it's a little dated is the USBs aren't incorporated into any of the actual outlets. But you do get them on each of these alarm clocks, and they have an alarm clock, I believe, on each side. No, no they don't. No. That's, oh. why, that's why I plugged my phone in. I'm yes, gonna... they have one alarm clock with two USBs. No other USBs besides that. Your outlet for your uh, heat and AC is to the right as you walk in on the wall. And you can see the all the way back there. That's the actual unit. And yeah, here's your big king size bed. There's a lot of room in this room. There's a sitting area. Yeah. There's in case you want to just this do some a, reading. This is a big desk, too. Yeah. You know, the work chair. Uh, no USBs over here, though. Just the standard outlets you can see some more nice artwork and yeah let's see how this view is outside our window all right so we're on the first floor there's a police car all the way back there um also I, yes very important there is a taco bell <laughs> across the street a lot of food places near here maybe i'll try to walk outside to show you uh no, i wish we had a view of, of the taco bell that would have been nice <laughs> It's like those are people's houses. I'm about. Yeah, um, I mean, there's some foliage outside, which is nice, but we're on the first floor. So, you know, for That's 110, good. I don't think it's that bad. No. You have your TV, so large LG flat screen. Uh, they have a channel guide right here, so you get a good amount of channels. Uh, no smart TV or anything, uh, but you get about 60 channels here, which is good. And, and it does also look like you can get connecting rooms because we do have yes, the door. Yes, connecting rooms right here. So if that's something you're interested in, let them know. And the remotes, sealed for your protection. Thank you, Hilton. All right, Sam, what do you think of the room so far? Uh, I like it. I feel like the big test, though, is the bed. Yeah, we'll let you guys know. We're going to be here for two nights. So we'll get a good... That was the downside with our last stay at the True by Hilton. We yeah. loved everything about the hotel, but the bed was... Yeah, it, that was a good price, too. What was that like? Was that 120 a night? Yeah, it was like a little bit more. A little bit more, but you got a few more amenities. Like, they had yeah. multiple different types of coffee. They had the hot breakfast that was included. Yeah. They don't have... They like, that dinner isn't included table. here. It was yeah. very fun there. Very well themed, too. Yeah. Modern with all the USB ports and the... Uh, there was a lot less space, but they used more with the space that they gave you. Here, it's you get a lot of space, but it's kind of a bit dated. Uh, but 110 a night, yeah, not bad. Five minutes from Hershey Park, yeah. Uh, I think that the cost justifies what you're getting so far. We'll let you know how the bed is, and I'm definitely going to try to try some of that some of that hot food one of these nights. So, we'll let you guys know what we think. So far, we're pretty impressed. We think we got you know a pretty good deal, it's a good value, for yeah, sure. definitely a good value. All right, so right there is the lobby. These are all the little things that you do around Hirsch. Eat. Town of Hirsch. This is where the coffee usually is. They had the coffee earlier. It was pretty good. And you'll find the fitness center down this way. Right myself, there's one elliptical. And there is one bicycle. Some older pieces of equipment. And then this is uh, a bench. A decibel bench. You have your weights. Pretty much standard weights. They go up to 50 pounds. As you can see, there's your 50 pound weight, 45, you know, they all the way, all the way down to five. And then a big dining mirror so you can see what you're, you can do, what you're doing. Bicep pose. It's a tiny little gym. Oh, they also have a scale. Tiny little gym. But it has what's necessary to get a decent workout in. All right, if you walk down a little bit, from the fitness center, they have the pool and whirlpool, which is the hot tub. 
I don't know, 20 guess. This I think this is a little old. This sign. Looks like it's gotta be less now. Alright, yeah. It's all the chlorine, that's for sure. Looks like they have some lounge chairs going this lounge out. It's a pretty nice pool. It's nice that they have a hot tub too. As you walk in to your right, they have towels available. And this is where you store your dirty towels. Yeah, it's pretty nice that they have this amenity. I would have liked to go into the hot tub if I remembered my bathing suit. But yeah, it's a good thing to have. I mean, it comes to $110 a night, so most times you don't get like a hot tub with a deal like that. And it looks like they have some views out there. Let's see what they got going on. Looks like you can exit through here, but it doesn't look like you can go anywhere. Um, it looks like kind of there's like an atrium or something out there, but I think that's on a different property. You see our property cuts off there. You can actually see Sam and I's room kind of somewhere over here. But yeah. Good amenity to have. Almost forgot to show you guys. As you walk in, you see the, the coffee bar, which usually is the coffee bar behind me. If you come down the hallway, let me flip this over. If you come down the hallway to your right, if you're on the first floor, is your ice machine. In case you need ice. They do have a full dinner menu too. Um, I'm gonna check that out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat any of the food at Hershey Park, because there's a lot of food to eat here, but let's see what type of foods they have. So Sam and I decided to try the dinner out here. I mean, figure since we call the theme park foodies, you have to try the food. Although, we did just eat at Hershey Park. <laughs> So if you probably saw Hershey Park vlog, if you, well hopefully you did see a Hershey Park vlog before this, we ate a lot of food, but we wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt and eat their dinner, which is the only hot food op option that they have. And it's from five to 10. So we'll show you guys the menu. We're gonna try a few things and share them. Let's see how they are. All right, so Samantha got the buffalo chicken wrap, but they don't have blue cheese crumbles. They only have the dressing. dressing. Um, they, is me. Yeah, they recommended the uh, the twin the twin chicken breast of the prime rib. The prime rib was like sixteen bucks. Still, you know, I just spent a lot of money at Hershey Park, so I went with the twin you, chicken you breast. You spend that on a milkshake, but you want to spend that on a rib. <laughs> no, it's true. Maybe I should have spent with the ribeye, but I feel like like chicken breast. It's baked. It's a little healthier. It's a little lighter, and we got two. I got two sides. Uh, they had mac and cheese, they had french fries, they had salads. So I got the Caesar salad and the fries. Maybe I should have got the mac. I've been eating a lot, you know? So we'll see how the food is. Again, this is the only hot food option. They do not have a breakfast. They have some signs saying breakfast this way, but the breakfast is not it's this way. It's in a brown paper bag. It, yeah, it was probably pre-COVID-19 they had a hot breakfast. So they're doing the dinner option now. We'll see how the dinner option is. And we'll rank it 1 to 10 like we always do. All right, this is the Caesar salad. Sam's decided to dig in. <laughs> this you is, can have a, this is a big piece of lettuce. This is one of the sides that came with my chicken. It's good. It's a good Caesar salad. Yeah, I mean, big croutons and stuff. Can't wait to dig in. Looks pretty good. It's the buffalo chicken wrap right there, and they get like these crinkled. I got some pickles on the stick. Oh, with some crinkle cut fries. Oh, good. Yeah. Let's try it out. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised. I didn't really expect much, but everything looks like it's been pretty good so far. It's really good. Oh, wow. I can't wait to try mine out. It looks real good, Sam. This is the chicken. It's like standard chicken. Sam's wrap looks a little better, but I'm not super hungry, you can so. Share with me. Yeah. All right, let's see how it is. All right, so let's cut this up. Chicken looks tender. You two nice breasts. Twice white meat. It's juicy. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. Mm. Mm. Not bad. I want to eat the whole meal and then we'll rate everything. Best way to describe the food I think we had was better than expected, right? I like 
liked my wrap a lot. I thought you definitely got the better option. Yeah, I didn't try yours. It looked just like plain chicken. It was, but it was decent. It was the thing is everything was cooked well. Yeah. So like it wasn't like extraordinarily. It wasn't like, fancy. Yeah. It was like over the top, but. But if they did well, you know what? Uh, when I went to the Hilton Meadowlands, this food's better than that food. And that's a much bigger hotel, which uh, that Bergen Social Lounge in the Meadowlands, that food was supposed to be like from here. And this food, I think, is better. So, good job, Hilton. I would rate the food. If five is average, we're trying to be a little meaner here. Seven. I give it a six. So, yeah, I mean, if you're here, it's definitely a good option. But if you're in Hershey, there are better places to eat in Hershey. Yeah. Oh, so far, uh, today's been pretty decent. We'll give you the full rundown as we check out. All right, so that's gonna do it for our stay at the Hilton Garden Inn in Hershey. What did you think about our stay, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not a fan. I wouldn't stay here again. Yeah, I mean, the price was good. The price it was good. what the we needed to fit our budget. Good. If it fits your budget, it's great. It has a beautiful lobby. The beautiful lobby, the bed wasn't that bad. The, the dinner was, the food on site was good. The, the, that's what actually pushed it up slightly for me is the food is better than what I thought it would be. But there's no breakfast. Yes, no hot breakfast and the pillows. The pillows are terrible. From, yeah, they're, they're terrible. My neck is killing me. I asked them for a few more. It's like they just go straight. They just flatten. They're so yeah. soft that they just flatten down. I kept like putting my arm under and like my arm is numb the whole night. I'm trying yeah. to prop so, my head up. I would rate, what would you rate our stay? I would give it a five. A five? All right, I'd give it probably a five too. The only reason I'm not giving it a four it's because the food is better than I thought it was. You know, so. and it's it's good to have that option. Yeah. For me, the True by Hilton in Hershey that we stayed at previously, I liked better. For Hershey Park stay, I just thought the vibe there. You get great views in the park. Yeah, the, the color theme at the other hotel is just more fun. Yeah, still, just so you know, you're only five minutes in Hershey. Yeah. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Uh, we do all the hotels, or a lot of the hotels near Hershey. We're trying to get as many as we can. We also have one of the Hotel Hershey if you're staying there. Check those out. We'll have we have some Hershey Park vlogs and we have vlogs from all the theme parks that we go to. So subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Like if this video helped you out. And let us know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks.